I'm Tia Hollowood, and I'm one of the writers for Trauma, a PTSD blog on HealthyPlace.com. And today I want to talk about something that's been a bit on my nerves lately. And um, it's the things that people say to, hopefully they're trying to make you, you, you feel better most of the time. And, and, and they say them meaning well. But they really shouldn't say them. They're things that they don't trigger me. It's not a trigger, but it just annoys the. It, it really annoys me. And so, I've tried this video several times. It always ends up like ten minutes long. I'm trying to do it real briefly for you. These are some of the things that bug me. Being told to relax. That one gets me every time. If I could just relax, if it was that easy, I wouldn't have PTSD. So, I'm not going to relax, even if I want to relax. Um, being asked if I was in combat. Um, there's still a lot of people who associate PTSD with combat, and that's, that's just not the case. It certainly is the case that it comes from combat, but not everyone in combat acquires PTSD, just as not everyone with PTSD was in combat. And the problem, bigger problem I have with that is if someone does ask that, and I'm like, no, then they are kind of setting me up to be like, no, this is what happened instead. I don't want to go there either. Not usually with people who who don't know me well enough to realize that isn't the case for my PTSD. Let it go. Just let it go. Gosh, stop dwelling on it. Let it go. I am not a Disney princess. I am not able to just let it go, okay? If I could let it go again, I wouldn't be someone who has PTSD. So that's that's not the best advice I've ever heard. Um, well, you should have, you should have told someone, you should have run away, you should have, you name it, you should have done it. Stop. Just stop, okay? We're blaming the victim, and in my case, we're, we're blaming a child victim, and, and it just snowballs from there. No, you should have this, or you should have that. This is not about you as the victim. That takes away from the fact that somebody really screwed up, something traumatized you. Let's see, I have them written down, so I'm looking again. Oh, but it was so long ago. It was so long ago, haven't you gotten over it yet? No, sorry, <laughs> it isn't. Uh, before uh, a lot of my therapy, I was having terrible dreams about it all the time, and it was 20 years, 30 years past, no. I, I have not forgotten just because it's a long time ago. You ask people who've, who've been through something traumatic or people who've lost someone incredibly dear to, the, to their, their heart, you don't let it go. That's, that's not how it works. Um, forgive? No. <laughs> I know that's important for some people, and that's great if, if it's your goal to want to forgive. But for me, forgiveness would require some kind of um, remorse on the part of the person who had uh, caused the harm, and that's not part of my world. So I don't feel like I need to be going out and handing out forgiveness to people who don't feel bad about it, don't even feel like they did anything wrong. Uh, no, no, it, that's not how it's going to work. Pray. I do pray. I pray and I find things like awesome therapists. And I pray and I find stuff like a new medication. Praying is great. But a lot of times people say, just pray on it, and they expect that that's your one remedy. And if it is your one remedy, great. If it works for you, wonderful. But it had to lead me to some other things to bring into my life in order to get better. Now, the last one, I try. It, it, it's, 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 just, it's kind of funny to me. People say it's all in your head. Yeah, <laughs> you know, it is all in my head in that aspect, except for the fact that when I'm having an anxiety attack, there's very physical things that happen, except that when I am triggered, you can actually measure my heartbeat and my this and my that. And it's not all in my head. It's all encompassing. It's not something, and you know, it's dismissive. It's all in your head. No, don't be doing that. So those are the few of the ones that really bother me, and I imagine everybody has their own little set that bother them. Um, 
So I don't know, you can let me know what bothers you. Maybe we can get a little collection going or maybe some things you've heard that are really actually very good things to say and comforting. So that's all for now. Thanks.